And, you know, Sharks colors, officially skating, just how did it feel just to kind of get through everything that you've, you know, with all the hype, just kind of get on the ice and skate with the Sharks? It was awesome. Um, starting to build that relationship with some of the guys here. It was lots of fun. Um, yeah, I feel like it's only going to get more enjoyable as the week goes on. For you, it looked like you were paired with Casper uh, Halton, and he's got a pretty good shot. What was it like, you know, skating with some of the guys that have been picked maybe in years prior or, you know, later, like uh, uh, Cherishov in, in, in this year's draft as well? Yeah, I mean, there's some special players here, so um, it's been good to play with them, start to get to know them a little bit, um, start to bond with them, kind of see how their game is. Like me and Casper, we, uh, we started to play a little bit together, and um, it was pretty fun. What was it like having some Sharks legends on the ice, guys like Joe Thornton and Patrick Marlowe? That was really cool, too. Um, they're legends, and um, I mean, they're, they're just here to help, and um, kind of share some of their knowledge because because they've been around the game for so long. So um, it was really good to have them out there and kind of give us little pointers. What do you want to take away from this week, just these last these, these few days here? Um, I mean, kind of some of those relationships. Um, get a feel for some of the guys that are here. Um, get to know everybody that works with the Sharks and. Um, yeah, I mean, just just build those relationships. Um, enjoy my time here. Get comfortable. Nice to have uh, old friends, Carson and uh, Colton. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What's the What's it been like since you've been drafted? Has the hype been kind of what you expected, and, and how have you just dealt with all of the the circus and, and the attention? It's been good. Um, it's been fun. I've It's been a long process throughout the draft and stuff, but um, now it's, it's when the fun begins. You just get to skate, uh, play hockey, and uh, just have fun with, with the guys. Was your first time meeting Patrick Marlowe? Uh, yeah. Okay. And did you meet any other Sharks? Or there seem to be a few, a lot of Sharks front office. Just meet a lot of people for the first time today. Any other Sharks, too? Sorry? Any other Sharks? Did you meet any other Sharks um, today? Or Yeah, yeah I mean, I met Mike Creechie the other day. Okay. He's an amazing guy. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I met like, I I met the whole organization or most of them pre previously at the draft and at the um, at the combine as well. So um, a lot of familiar faces, but definitely meeting some new guys as well. Uh, when we talked with uh, your dad after the draft, he said that you guys kind of changed plans. So you can get over back here so you can get in a skate yesterday so was that sort of um just you know your maybe your excitement of just wanting to get back on the ice and get ready for this to kind of not stay in vegas uh, too long yeah um after the draft i mean there's no real point in sticking around <laughs> in vegas so um no i just want to come home regroup before camp and um yeah i just found some ice to skate on that second day of the draft or just who were you kind of like happiest for or just your teammates or just anybody else you just know from back home in vancouver that got drafted yeah i'm so happy for all my all my friends that got drafted brody zimmer will and um just to name a couple but i mean I, I had a lot of close friends get drafted and in, in the second round there or the second day and um i couldn't be happier for them for yourself obviously the fan attention is Pretty high. I mean, you spent a lot of time signing autographs. What does it mean to just kind of have that quick bond with the fans who are just excited to see you? And just how do you even do yourself to them? It's, it's nice to nice to be wanted. So you know, it's been good. Um, they were out there supporting today. And, um, I mean, from everything I've heard, they were some of the best fans in the league. So um, I'm excited to start uh, playing in front of them. You heard the you know obviously just another one of the fans here, right? You said you've heard they're some of the best fans in the league and. I don't know if you've seen or paid any attention to it. A lot of the ticket sales, you know, they're calling it sometimes a celebrity bump. There's some other things like people are coming back into the building after some down years. Does that excite you? Do you know that kind of, you know, brings you and, and some of these other prospects like Will and, and Quentin and Casper are kind of bringing that excitement back to here? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like I said, we're, we're moving in the right direction. And, um, I mean, there's so many amazing players getting ready to make their debut. So, um, I mean, especially with the signings that, that we've made. like it, it's, it's, it's an exciting time, and I see why. We do a couple more if you have them, and Casper, sure. Does you follow uh, Free Agency yesterday? See what the Sharks did? Kind of yeah, I did. Yeah. How old do you know Tyler? Before, I, guess. Uh, I met him once when I was a, a lot younger. Uh, we had an agency camp, and he came out and talked to us. So um, 
That, that was the last time I, I met him. I know that you kept bugging you about the question of whether or not you want to turn pro or go back to school. What do you kind of want to sort of make that decision once and for all kind of mm -hmm. thing? Is that coming up pretty soon? Or? Yeah, that's coming up. Yeah. yeah, I'll make the decision pretty quick here. Um, just kind of trying to enjoy this camp, and um, after that, I guess it's time to make a decision. So. The, the, the signings yesterday were bringing into Foley and Lindbergh, yeah. those type of veterans, does that help? sort of the cause as far as wanting to come to the NHL? Yeah, of course. I mean, those guys are have been along the, around the game for so long, and um, they, between those two, they have a lot of NHL games. So, um, that I mean, being able to learn from those guys and have them around the locker room definitely helps. So you just out of curiosity, one here is a little bit of fun. Just out of curiosity, how long have you been signing autographs for? When was the first time you... Someone asked for your autograph. Um, probably when I was at Shattuck. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's when it started. <laughs> like fourteen yeah. years old. 14 years uh, fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Was yeah. it kind of weird? It kind of. It was. It was really weird. It was really <laughs> weird. But yeah. So you're used to it now. Though. Yeah, now I'm used to it. So. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you.